at our converse. Let's go and write out the converse again. Remember the converse says if Q. So if I catch fish, then P. I went fishing. And the inverse is if uh, not P, so if I did not go fishing, if I did not go fishing, then I did not catch fish. So ladies and gentlemen, this is your second set of logically equivalent. All right, logically equivalent, again, is going to mean that they're both going to be true or they're both going to be false. So let's look at this. This converse is true if my first statement is true. If I catch fish, so let's say you caught a fish, then, but you did not go fishing. So let's say you caught a fish by using a net, right? That means that statement is false, correct? If you if you if I caught fish, if I uh, oh sorry if I catch fish then I went fishing oh that's false so let's say it's false so therefore I did not go fishing because you didn't go fishing well fishing with a net maybe I don't know. not fishing with a hook then I did not catch any fish well this would be true I did not go any fishing <clears throat> I did not go fishing which is true but I did not catch any fish but you did catch a fish right you caught a fish by like scooping it out with a net. <laughs> So therefore, those two would both be false. If one's true, the other one's true. The converse and inverse are logically equivalent, just like conditional and contrapositive. All right, so let's get some practice in for you guys. You guys are